Hello friends, welcome to Shelter in Place. Scripture, inspiration, prayer, take a sip of life. As I begin this prayer, God is present, breathing life into me and into everything around me. For a few moments, I remain silent and become aware of God's loving presence. Matthew 6, 24-34, The Message You can't worship two gods at once. Loving one god, you'll end up hating the other. Adoration of one feeds contempt for the other. You can't worship God and money both. If you decide for God, living a life of God worship, it follows that you don't fuss about what's on the table at mealtimes or whether the clothes in your closet are in fashion. There is far more to your life than the food you put in your stomach, more to your outer appearance than the clothes you hang on your body. Look at the birds, free and unfettered, not tied down to a job description, careless in the care of God, and you count far more to him than birds. Has anyone by fussing in front of the mirror ever gotten taller by so much as an inch? All this time and money wasted on fashion, do you think it makes that much difference? Instead of looking at the fashions, walk out into the fields and look at the wildflowers. They never primp or shop, but have you ever seen color and design quite like it? The ten best-dressed men and women in the country look shabby alongside them. If God gives such attention to the appearance of wildflowers, most of which are never even seen, don't you think he'll attend to you, take pride in you, do his best for you? What I'm trying to do here is to get you to relax, to not be so preoccupied with getting, so you can respond to God's giving. People who don't know God and the way he works fuss over these things, but you know both God and how he works. Steep your life in God reality, God initiative, God provisions. Don't worry about missing out. You'll find all your everyday human concerns will be met. Give your attention to what God is doing right now, and don't get worked up about what may or may not happen tomorrow. God will help you deal with whatever hard things come up when the time comes. Today's book is an autobiography about someone who inspired me to trust God for provision more than anyone else I can ever think of. Instead of giving away the stunning and miraculous ways of what happened in the life of an ordinary person who trusted in an extraordinary God, let me read you a few comments written by ordinary readers about George Mueller. An amazing journal of the abounding provision of God. This was one of the easiest books I've ever read, but it challenged me more than anything I can remember. Why should we hang on to what we may need tomorrow when someone needs it today? Probably because we don't really believe God. George Mueller did. There's not been a chapter where I didn't feel utterly challenged and ashamed that my own version of God the Provider was so small. Well, this will shake you out of spiritual slumber. George lived by faith and trusted in God to supply all his needs. He did more than most of us would attempt because he believed God could do anything. I've come to realize that God is completely in control of the financial provision and I can truly trust him to come through, though often at the very last second, to grow my faith. Pray and work hard while you wait, but believe that God can meet your needs. Incredibly encouraging biography of a great man of God devoted to prayer and helping orphans. Reading his story makes you feel foolish for not crying out to God for your every need because he will provide. May we each wake up, live by faith, work hard, pray big, and trust God to provide all that we need. He is our provider. God our Father, you see your children growing up in an unsteady and confusing world. Show them that your ways give more life 
than the ways of the world, and that following you is better than chasing after selfish goals. Help them to take failure not as a measure of their worth, but as a chance for a new start. Give them strength to hold their faith in you and to keep alive their joy in your creation. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you for joining me. See you next time.